Hello class, Cole here. So second part on making a pull request that has merge conflicts that can't be resolved automatically. So here we are in our pull request. Um, I've modified a the same line that has been modified in the same file um, of the other fork. So it can't be resolved through the website. In the last video we showed you how to um, resolve that through the command line. I'll show you now how to do it with GitHub Desktop, which is pretty, uh, pretty easy. It's the same process. You're just doing it with a little graphical tool, partly. So GitHub Desktop, you can download it for Mac and Windows. So this is what it looks like here. And you see there's a button, Update from CSC 161 Master, Merge Commits from CSC 161 Master into Master. And what it finds is it can't automatically merge, as you know we already knew from over here. So it says this file needs to be manually edited. So going to show it in the finder and we'll open it just with a little simple text editor and you can see it marked it up in the same way it said here's one version of the file or of the of this line and here's another version of this line so in this case we see the only difference between these two once I take away these markup lines to help us find where the conflict was We'll see that the only difference between these two is in one fork we want to capitalize W, in another fork we want to put an exclamation point. Uh, oftentimes you'll want to choose one version over the other. In this case we'll actually just want to um, try and kind of merge the lines in a way that makes sense to us. And because this is kind of a you know programmer decision about what makes sense for the program, it can't be done automatically uh, through the website. That's kind of why we had to do something special here. So we've chosen, we've edited it, we've gotten rid of the markup, and we've chosen what we want it to look like. We'll save this file. And when we go back to GitHub Desktop, we'll say we're you know, merging in changes from there. And we could kind of just say, um, you know, resolved with and then world with an exclamation point and commit to master and that should be about it we'll sync it with github and we should be able to see the changes here and we see that it's now marked as merged so when we come back in here and go to June 22nd and go to the string array pair we'll find down here that we've gotten our changes. So that's the second way to resolve a uh, pull request where uh, you've edited the line that I've also edited. Uh, most of the time this won't be the case, but if it does happen, uh, it's easy to get around it. It's just editing some text files. So good. Thank you.